What's your favorite um, nipples? Indian curse word. Is it still marachot? Marachot. What about boca chora? I love or that too. Ben uh, no, it's still. It's always. I think it. What about chutia? That's nice. Yeah, that's a nice one. It is, but I think it's always going to be because that was the first one we ever learned, and it's so common and it's so fulfilling and it's so nawaz, marachod. That's why I brought it on the cup. Yeah, that's my favorite. But you're a benjo. Juice. Hey, welcome back to our stupid rag. I hope your kids aren't watching. Yeah, really. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry if they are. There's some lessons happening right now about what we say and don't say. Uh, yeah. Sorry. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, today we got a, uh, this is called something. Yeah. Okay. This is called All the Classical Dances of India. And I, I already know how many stupid babies are saying, why isn't Indrani watching this one? She is this here. One. That's okay. It's her, her prerogative. Uh, but she doesn't have to do it, that. It's the, the video title is actually Eight Classical Dances. So I'm sure it's right. not all eight of them. Eight Classical Dances. And I'm not sure if Andrani is a dancer. Uh, no, I feel uh, I'm not sure that it, that is I bet there. it is. I, it's, I bet it's coming We will here. see. But we've seen a lot. 14 minutes of dancing. So it's going to, I, I think it's actually going to help describe each dance, I think. So it's like going to go into detail of like what the differences are. My hope Which is, is cool. that it's all eight classical dances demonstrated by Big B. That's a, just him. He is a great the Karthik dancer. The, the, possibly the Karthik. greatest. Karthik. Karthik. Yeah. I just read the first one I saw. Here we go. <laughs> this is Manohar Vira and welcome to the General Awareness Series by Example. In this session, we are going to see classical dances of India India is home to many great culturally blended dance forms. Let's look at the most important eight forms of it. Indian classical dance, otherwise known as Sastriya Nitya, is a term for various performances or rooted in religious Hindu musical theater songs, whose theory and practice can be traced to the Sanskrit text Natya Shastra. The number of recognized classical dances ranging from minimum of eight and the number largely depends on the source and scholar. The Sangeet Nota Academy recognizes eight forms of dances as classical. They are Bharatanatyam, Kathak, Kuchipudi, Odissi, Kathakali, Shatriya, Manipuri and Mohiniyattu. These dances are traditionally regional. All of them include music and recitation in local language. Or Sanskrit. And they represent a unity of core ideas in a diversity of styles, costumes, and expression. First, we will see about Bharatanatyam. Bharatanatyam is one of the most popular classical Indian dances. Bharatanatyam is more popular in South Indian states of Tamil Nadu and Karnataka. Bharatanatyam dance is almost 2000 years old. It is believed that Bharatanatyam was revealed by Lord Brahma to Bharata, a famous sage who then codified this sacred dance in a Sanskrit text called Natya Shastra. The Natya Shastra is one of the fundamental <laughs> treatises on Indian <laughs> drama and aesthetics. Instruments used in Bharatanatyam are Mridangam, Violin, We know. Yeah. That's a great instrument. Flute. Love these horns. I know them too. Are those the finger thingies? Yes, fingers. The famous dancers are Rukmini Devi, mm. Bhatma Subramanya. Mm -hmm. Know that name. Alar Melvalli. Forgive us if these other names we should know too. Yamini Krishnamurti, 
అంతరత్నం మల్లికా షారాబాయి మీనాక్షి సుందరం పిల్లి నెంబర్ టూ కథక్ కథక్ ఇస్ వన్ ఆఫ్ ద మోస్ట్ ఇంపార్టెంట్ క్లాసికల్ డాన్సర్స్ ఆఫ్ ఇండియా కథక్ ఇస్ సెట్ టు బి డెరివ్ ఫ్రమ్ ద వర్డ్ కథ మీనింగ్ ద ఆర్ట్ ఆఫ్ స్టోరీ టెలింగ్ ద కథక్ డాన్స్ originated in north india and was very similar to bharatanatyam dance form in ancient india there were kathakas or bards who used to recite religious and mythological tales to the accompaniment music mime and dance instrument used in kathak or pakhawaj అంతాళం ద ఫేమస్ డాన్సర్స్ పండిత్ బిర్జు మహారాజ్ సితారా దేవి శోభనా నారాయణన్ మలాబికా మిత్ర కుమిదిని లాఖియా మనిషా కళ్యాణి నంబర్ త్రీ కథకళి కథకళి ఇస్ ద క్లాసికల్ డాన్స్ ఫ్రమ్ కేరళ ద వర్డ్ కథకళి లిటరలీ మీన్స్ స్టోరీ Kathakali is known for his heavy, elaborate makeup and costumes. In fact, the colorful and fascinating costumes of Kathakali have become the most recognized icon of Kerala. Kathakali is considered as one of the most magnificent theaters of imagination and creativity. Kathakali dance presents themes derived from the Ramayana and the Mahabharata and the, some other Hindu epics. mythologies and legends instruments that are used in kathakali are chenda another another percussion instrument madalam and elathalam hmm. so all of them have that form of the famous dances symbol in some way yeah. kalamandalam gopi పద్మనాభన్ నాయర్ రమణకుటి నాయర్ అండ్ కుమరన్ నాయర్ నంబర్ ఫోర్ కుచిపుడి కుచిపుడి ఇస్ వన్ ఆఫ్ ద క్లాసికల్ డాన్స్ ఫార్మ్స్ ఆఫ్ సౌత్ ఇండియా కుచిపుడి డైరెక్ట్స్ ఇట్స్ నేమ్ ఫ్రమ్ ద కుచిపుడి విలేజ్ ఆఫ్ ఆంధ్రప్రదేశ్ ఇన్ ద సెవెంటీన్త్ సెంచురీ The Kuchipudi village was presented to the Brahmins who were experts in staging dance and drama. Kuchipudi exhibits scenes from the Hindu epics, legends and mythological tales through a combination of music, dance and acting. Like other classical dances, Kuchipudi also comprises pure bands, mime and histrionics, but it is the use of speech that distinguishes Kuchipudi's presentation as dance drama. Instruments used in Kuchipudi are Radangam Violin Veena Do you know what ones are used in Odisha? No, no. Flute The famous dancers to be noted on <laughs> Raja and Bada Reddy Kaushalya Reddy wow. Yamini Reddy Seems like the Reddy family is predominant Bhavana Reddy 
Must be that certain part of India that it's from. Yeah. Wow. Next in the line is Manipuri. Is it related? Manipuri Daddy is one of the eight major classical dances of India. Manipuri dance is indigenous to Manipur, the northeastern state of India. The Manipuri dance style is inextricably woven into the life pattern of Manipuri people. The most striking part of Manipuri dance is its colorful decoration, lightness of dancing foot, delicacy of Abhinaya, litting music, and poetic charm. The Manipuri dance form is mostly ritualistic and draws heavily from the rich culture of the state of Manipur. It's a great word. The major instruments used in Manipuri is Pong and Cymbals. Why are they called Cymbals there? That's a good question. The famous dancers to be noted are Guru Bipin Singh, Darshan Javed, Ranjana. Charumatu. Next in the line is Mohini <laughs> And that's it. Mohini that's it. is a classical dance form of Kerala. Mohini is derived from the words Mohini means beautiful woman and Atam meaning dance. Nice. Thus Mohini is a dance form, is a beautiful feminine style with surging flow body movements. Mohini Atam dance in Kerala developed in the tradition of Devadasi system, which later grew and developed a classical status. Instrument used in Mohini Atam are Chenda, Madalam, and Ilatalam. The famous dancers really to be noted are they kept going. Sunanta Nair, Jay Prabha Menon, Pallavi Krishna, Gopika Varma, Vijay Lakshmi, Smita Raju. Number 7. Odissi. Odissi is one of the most famous classical Indian dancers from Orissa state. The history of Odissi dance is almost 2000 years old. Odissi is a highly inspired, passionate, ecstatic and sensuous form of dance. Like most of the South Indian classical dancers of India, Odissi too had its origin in the Devadasi tradition. The instruments used in Odissi are some type of drum. Buckwatch. Some type of symbol. Tabela. Harmonium. <laughs> Flute. And symbols. One more for the good magic. Dancers in ODC are Kelicharan Mohapatra, Deva Prashant Das, Pankat Sarandash, and Gangadhar Pradhan, Aditi Bandiyogdai. And the last one is Satriya. Satras are the Vaishnava monasteries in Assam. Ah. The sign poet Shankar Deva of the 15th century I'm not sure we've seen AD from this. started this I might institution be wrong, but to bring the one where we had to guess. The oh, yeah, yeah. And yeah. we were like, religion. never seen that. Creating forms of dance, dramas, music, painting, and collective prayer. The dance forms which have come to stay are called Satriya dances. Sharing all the characteristics of a classical dance form. The instruments used in Satriya are Some type of drum. Violin. Ah. <laughs> cymbals. 
and the synthesizer. Cool. And the 808 drum. The famous dancers in Sartira are Guru Indra P.P. Vora, Jati Goswami, Anita Sharma. So we have come to the end of this session on classical dances of India. We hope you liked it. Please do share the video with your friends and subscribe to Exam Dance channel to get the latest updates on gender love and our series. Thank you, friends. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, there's a lot, right. of, it, a lot, lot of info. A lot of info there. And it's, it's, it's also very interesting that not only obviously are they very unique dances to different regions, but also they have specific instruments. Yeah. It's not just the dance that's specific. They have specific, specific instruments. instruments that are allowed and used. And is it like, is it just that that's what's traditionally used? Or is it just, um, like it's, it's definite. You, you can't right. use. You don't vary. You don't, you don't swear. Vary. That. My suspicion is that you don't sway mm. from that. And it's interesting. Kind of like rock. It's, it's a certain Right. It's thing. a certain thing. And you stick to that. And I, it's like everything else we've discovered in India from the film industries to the artistry and all <laughs> kinds of disciplines to when we went and visited Whereas particularly we, we noticed when we ate the food, we said that each region tastes like its own region, but they all taste Indian. Mm -hmm. And that's what that's like. Every yeah. one of these dance forms is very <laughs> unique to their region, but they all are Indian. They all look and have the same sense of yeah. DNA of being from the same place. Yeah. It'd be really yeah. cool to um, like do learn. a video, like learn. Yeah. Cool. Oh, I've already thought about that. Uh, uh, <laughs> We'll see. Maybe one day we'll. I'll have a talk. Uh, maybe one day we'll do something. Uh, if we know a dancer. But, uh, yeah, let us know what other dance videos we can write, whether they're informational or just them. Yeah. Because I think there was a few in there that looked really interesting in terms of, like, some of the clips that they were showing of some of the stuff. And some of the stuff we've actually seen before, because we've reacted to a lot of classic dance. So some of our favorites yeah. uh, to actually react to. So yep, let us know what other ones we can react to down below. Just